Sometimes you want to remove the chain for cleaning, either because it got extremely grimy or wet, or maybe you're going to wax the chain. Make sure that you're using a removable link, master link, from either KMC or Conex made for your bike, because that allows you to remove it and replace it a number of times, which cannot be done with ordinary master links. So we'll press this, remove the link, and then go ahead and remove the chain. Or maybe you have a new chain. New chains come with a covered with a thick grease-like material throughout the chain. And contrary to what the manufacturers say that you should use this for 150 miles and until it wears off, most mechanics, including myself, suggest removing the waxy coating, which is there to prevent rust and corrosion. But if you ride with it, it's only going to pick up dirt and grime and just cause more chain wear. Well, we wanted a way to clean either the dirty chain or the new chain that's quick and easy and inexpensive. What you'll need is a colander with a container and lid, such as this one. We got off Amazon for less than $10. And it's just the right size to place the chain with just a minimal amount of degreaser. You'll need the degreaser of your choice and some optional things. A paper clip which will bend slightly out of shape so we can link it to the end of the chain and pull the chain out. If you want to scrub the chain, I use my two toothbrushes used toothbrushes that are taped together with some duct tape. Up to you. I will use gloves because it's a little messy job. Something to wipe the particular chain off. I prefer a microfiber cloth. I'll leave that up to you. And a container to decant the de degreaser so we can recycle it. Details on the colander used are in the description. We'll go ahead and place our master link in, our chain, and move it around so it occupies just the bottom, and we'll attach to it Our paper clip to make it easy to take out and put in. Now cover. With the greaser. And we like for completion to scrub the uh, chain and we'll go through the whole chain. I won't show you here but we will go through the whole chain and scrub it. And when we finish scrubbing we'll just place it back into the degreaser. Make sure it's fully covered by degreaser. Place the lid on. I'll let it sit anywhere from say 15 minutes to a couple of hours. While the chain is sitting in degreaser, go ahead and fold a cloth and you can actually floss in between the cassette cogs. Do this all the way around. Until all the cogs are nice and clean if you use the greaser on the cloth when you're doing this, be sure to wipe all the degreaser off so it doesn't interfere with any lubricant you're using. Nice chance to also 
clean the pulley wheels and the outside and inside of the chain rings and you can fold the cloth and floss in between the chain rings like we did for the rear. After about half an hour here we'll remove the lid and the colander and pour the degreaser into a recycle container. And put that aside. Place this back in. We'll go ahead and rinse it. Careful not to lose our master link. Add a few drops of liquid uh, Dawn. Refill the container. Put the top on. Shake it around well. Rinse the chain. And then we'll take our microfiber cloth. And lift it out and wipe the chain with our microfiber cloth thoroughly. And don't forget the master link. And place that aside after wiping dry. Don't forget your master link. Chain looks sparkling clean. And we're ready to put it back on our bike and lubricate. If we let our used degreaser sit for about 48 hours, we can see that the grime and oils have settled to the bottom. And on the top, the degreaser is fairly clear and reusable. We'll carefully decant the reusable de degreaser back in the bottle. And leave most of the grease and grime left in our container. And we'll uh, reuse this container for more of the dirty degreaser as needed. Do you take off your bicycle chain for cleaning? If so, how often and what is the method you use to clean? Please comment below and let us know. Subscribe to keep up with our latest videos. This is Tony of Tony 10 Speed Safe Cycling.